Hey guys, I uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, I had the urge to say something. I've been playing UFC 3 on my Xbox lately, and in the little career mode, and I'm the GOAT, like, I, I've been, I've done like 55 fights, I'm undefeated, I have the heavyweight belt, all that happy stuff, but I, I just, I, I found something out about myself a second ago. We, I started this fight against this fucking guy, and it's like some created guy because all the real life people are, have retired by now. Because my dude, I started out when I was 18, my dude's like 39 now. So everyone else that was already a real fighter, they've retired because they're old as fuck. But, um, I, I realized, like, beginning of the fight, he didn't touch gloves with me. Like, because you have at the beginning, like, in the little cutscene before the fight, you can touch gloves. I skipped that because I, I, I don't have time to watch this fucking stupid, like, three-minute long cutscene about introducing this fucker, introducing that fucker, touch gloves, now go over there, fuckers. I, I don't have time. Like, let's get, let's get to whooping some ass, alright? Let's get to the point of the game. Let's not go to the theatrics, I don't care. It's like when I play Madden. I don't watch the fucking halftime shit. I don't watch the little, look at these offensive linemen. Fuck that, let's get, I want to play football, alright? Fuck you. But, uh, but at the beginning of the actual, like, round of, of the, like, match, you can go up and, like, touch gloves. Like, you touch, you know, one glove. And I didn't, re at first, when I started playing, I didn't realize how to do it, because it's different than in uh, UFC 2. And so I, um, fuck off Norton. Goddamn Norton security, suck a dick. <laughs> Sorry, a pop-up came on my screen. I was like, fuck you. But, um, I, I realized after, like, my 20th fight how to do it. So, I, uh, I, now every fight I try to, you know, give them a little tap. Because they're going to lose, so I'm, I'm going to at least show you respect before I whoop that ass. You know, but this guy I was fighting, who's not even a real guy, like, I, the last fight I fought, uh, not a Shogun, uh, Fabricio Wardum or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Brazilian shit's weird, man, uh, I think he's a Brazilian, I don't fucking know, I don't really pay attention to the UFC, to be honest, I just like the game, because I can just, like, fucking throw people and punch them in the mouth and shit, um, but, and it's just cool to, like, just beat up on people, it's a fun, like, fuck off game. Um, unless you're trying the training stuff that's actually kind of difficult at times, and then you're like, motherfucker! <laughs> but, anyways, he didn't touch gloves, so I just made it my mission to beat the fuck out of him within the first round. Like, I made him bloody, he was bleeding everywhere, and then I just fucking took him down with a heel hook and made his bitch ass tap. Like, that's my go-to of, like, fuck you, I'm not gonna knock you out, I'm just gonna make you bleed everywhere, and then I'm gonna make you think I'm gonna break your leg. Like, that's what I like to do on that game. <laughs> but I, I realized that, like, I, I like to, you know, make people tap on there anyways. I mean, usually I like knockouts more just because it's, you know, you get the flashy kicks and all that happy shit. I mean, not kicks that I can do in real life because I can do a good roundhouse, but I'm not doing those tornado kicks. You can, I'm too fucking fat. You can't, have you ever seen a bear do a tornado kick? It ain't happening. Then again, have you ever seen a bear do a roundhouse kick? That's the topic for a different day. Um, although that would be highly entertaining to see. But, so I I usually like to kind of, and I've been trying to get the, because I haven't, one of the only things I haven't done for the GOAT status, GOAT status, is um, get like five fight of the nights. I've gotten like performance of the nights. I've gotten like 20 of those motherfucking awards. But, you need, like, I think it's, like, nine Fight of the Night awards, and, like, you're full-fledged, you've done everything to get the GOAT. Like, that's the only thing I don't have. But every time they pin me against someone like this guy, who's, who's like, a creative character, he's only got, like, 70, like, high 70s, low 80s for his overalls. My guy's overalls are 100 down the board. His grapples, his health, his striking, his everything is just 100s. Because that's all I did. I didn't promote fights early on in the career. I just trained. I trained the fuck out of my guy. And I learned different moves. And I made his stuff 100. And then I learned more moves. And then I started promoting. Like, I didn't have a very high 
hype fight until the only thing I didn't have 100 was my grappling, and I had it at, like, 95. Like, I did everything. I didn't give a fuck about promoting shit. I was just training, and then I would do an ice bath to cool my performance stuff back down, and then I would train more. Because <laughs> that's what I am. I'm a grinder. All right, I just want to make sure I can whoop ass as easily as possible, so I can just be the best. <laughs> God, it's such a sad life I lead. But uh, but no, I just I realized that while this was happening, that man, I I took a lot of offense to this guy who also another note, the motherfucker wasn't even like number two or number three. He was like number four on the leaders, like. I already whooped number two's ass, and number, I've whooped his ass before a few times anyways, but he's, like, number four in the rankings, so it's like, you're not even the second guy. Show some respect and touch my fucking glove, you bastard. But he didn't, so I made him tap. Like, I don't know. I, I kind of wasn't even really going to make, like, going for the tap. I keep forgetting, like, my takedown combos. They're kind of weird. Because if you look on the controls in the game, half the takedowns are just hold left trigger and left bumper and fucking push a, bu push a direction on your right stick. Well, I did that. Next thing I know, I'm fucking rolling around on the ground, grabbing the motherfucker's heel, ripping it off his goddamn leg. Which is fine, because he tapped. But whenever it doesn't work, I look like a fucking baby that fell over. And just rolling around on the ground and shit. It's weird. Alright, well... I just kind of felt like throwing that out there, like, just kind of, I still haven't fucking showered. I, I got home from work, stuffed my face, played Xbox, like a loser. Alright, well, felt, felt like sharing that insight with you guys. This is not really an insight, I don't know why the fuck I use that word. But, I felt like sharing my uh, experience with you, I guess. Because, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't understand why I took so much offense. Actually, I kind of do. Because when I play games like that, or even Madden, I'll create a character, like I'll create a player or a fighter or a wrestler if I'm playing a wrestling game or whatever game it is. If I can create a character in it, I want I, I basically I basically try to like picture myself in that role and I try to make them look as much like me as possible. Except you know not fat and flabby, uh, but I do try to make them hairy and shit too. Because I'm like, yeah, you you gotta fight you gotta fight a bear. <laughs> you're gonna fight me <laughs> except you know tone and shit <laughs> but uh yeah i i just i always try to picture myself because that helps the immersion for me personally which is another reason why i kind of have trouble playing games where like the female a female character is the lead character it's not so much that it's a female character it's that i find it hard to picture myself in that role and that's one of the great things I like about video games is they're an escape from reality. And like for Fall Fallout, for example, Fallout 4, I can I can kind of picture myself, you know, in that role. I can't picture myself as fucking that one broad from Horizon Zero Dawn, male because they're all fucking stupid. Those people are fucking dumb. I don't understand how anything. I I that I don't get that world. But that's a topic for another time. I. I know everyone loves that fucking game to death. I don't. It's it's good. Not great. Not amazing. Not impeccable. It's good. Personal opinion. But that's different time. Different conversation for a different day. Uh, yeah. But I personally like to imagine myself in that role, and that that helps my immersion into the game, and that helps me want to keep playing the game. Uh. If you guys have any similar experiences to that, let me know. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at the Twa. You can find me on Facebook. And uh, you can comment on here, and I'll likely reply relatively quickly. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't, dislike it. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel the need to. I'd prefer it if you did. But totally understand if you don't. Totally understand if you don't want to watch anything else with my stupid face on it. Uh, hope you guys have a good day.